Hey Rocketbook fans, today I'm going to show you how to use Snapcast to capture your notes in real time. You'll learn how to turn this into this. Here's my setup. I've got my Rocketbook notebook to take notes in on my desk. I've got my phone propped up above it on a box and my laptop. Now to get started, I just open the Rocketbook app, tap new scan, and tap on the white triangle in the upper right to activate Snapcast. Now it'll show me a unique URL at the bottom of the screen, and I can just email that to myself, or I can just type it right into the browser and follow along. Now let's move to a computer, open up my email, and click on my Snapcast URL. I could have also typed the Snapcast URL into my web browser. To Snapcast your notes, Point your phone at the Rocketbook notebook to scan. Make sure the entire notebook page is within your scan screen. And voila, your handwritten notes are on your computer. My phone is propped up on this box, but you can also simply hold your phone and point it at your notes each time you want to update your Snapcast. That's not all though. Snapcast can update what you see on your screen as you update your notes in your notebook or on your whiteboard. To show this off, let's just add something to the to-do list in my notebook. My phone immediately scans, and the updated notes show up on the Snapcast webpage immediately. So that's it. Now you know how to enter Snapcast mode and capture your notes in real time. With your handwritten notes on your computer, you can now share ideas with a remote team or walk through problems for remote students. If you don't have a Rocketbook notebook, don't worry. Just print out the free PDFs on pdfs.getrocketbook.com and scan in your notes with our free Rocketbook app. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more remote working tips and tricks. Want to learn more? Watch this video on how to use Snapcast to share your notes live on Google Hangouts or Zoom, or watch this video on how to make a Khan Academy style lesson video for your students using Snapcast.